So far in this video series, I've covered the secret behind mastering email, how to customize and prioritize your action folders, and how to store with archive and active folders. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to put it all together and process your email smarter. I'm gonna start with a high level overview of the process, then work through the mechanics in more detail to make sure that you're 100% clear on how this works. The process starts with the inbox, and it doesn't matter what inbox you use. Outlook, Gmail, Apple Mail, Lotus, you can use anything. When I'm explaining this, just so I don't confuse you, I'm gonna use illustrations instead of a real inbox. First, I wanna give you a high level view of the process. I start by opening my inbox and using quick keys, which I'm gonna show you how to use later, I empty everything into my action folders. If I have 100 emails, it usually takes me no more than five minutes. Once my inbox is cleared, I pause for a minute and breathe in how good it feels to have zero emails in my inbox. Then I work through my action folders in sequence. I start by opening my first folder, which for me is the reply folder. I then flag the emails I'm gonna to respond to for the day, respond to them, and archive or trash them when I'm done. And then I move on to the next folder and repeat the process. I flag the emails that I'm gonna to respond to, I respond to them, and then I archive or trash them when I'm done. And then I move on to the next folder and I continue doing this until I'm done working through all of my action folders. At this point, I pause because something super important has happened. I've gotten closure on all the emails that came in before this morning. I can't emphasize enough how important this moment is. What this moment means is that I'm all caught up with my old email. The only email I have to deal with now are the ones that are coming in today. Everything in the past is covered and I can be 100% certain that I haven't missed anything. This creates so much mental relief and pretty much eliminates any stress I have with respect to email. It's important to pay attention to how you feel at this moment because this feeling is one of the key rewards of stacking. Lock in on this feeling and you can build the habit overnight. It should feel like one of those moments when you're on a plane or a train or in the shower when your mind is completely free to think clearly. From this point forward, I switch things up and work out of my inbox for the rest of the day. People are often surprised by this. They're confused that I don't put everything back into the action folders and work through them again. Here's why I stay in my inbox for the rest of the day. The primary reason is because it's really cumbersome to repeat the entire process again and again over the same day, especially because active conversations involve multiple replies. I would just be done moving an email into an action folder only to have the next reply pop it back into my inbox. So I deal with emails that come in during the day out of my inbox. If I'm done with an email, I archive or trash it. If I know I'm not gonna deal with an email that day, I just move it into an action folder and I'll stack it tomorrow. And I continue this until the end of the day. Anything that's left becomes part of my stacking cycle for the next day, which is usually not a lot of emails. So that's it for the high level on the process. It's really simple, right? Now I'm gonna run through the process one more time in a little more detail and point out a few more things to help make the process stick. So this is a typical inbox. You've got your folders on your left, your messages at the top, and your message pane below that. Now I know some people's configurations are different, but this gives you a high level picture of what's going on. So I start by emptying my inbox. I click on each email to figure out where it goes. If I don't need it, I archive or trash it. Otherwise it goes into a particular action folder. Now when I'm done working through all of these emails, I go to my reply folder, which is my first folder. The emails I moved from my inbox today are now in this folder, as well as the emails I had left over from the previous day. You'll find that you often can't reply to everything in this folder that day, usually because you're waiting on information before you can reply or you're just crunched for time. So I found the best strategy when I open a folder is to flag the emails I wanna to respond to. And I'm already familiar with all of these emails, so it's fast. Next, 
I reply and archive or trash as I'm done, then I move on to the next folder. And I do the exact same thing. I flag the emails that I want to respond to, then I respond and archive or trash them when I'm done. And I rinse and repeat for each folder. When I flag emails, I'm doing something really powerful. I'm making a conscious decision on what I'm gonna work on, but more importantly, what I'm not gonna work on. Because I looked at these emails and decided that they weren't important, it becomes something that I can safely ignore, which eliminates any anxiety I have about them slipping through the cracks. Once I'm done working through all of my folders, I can be confident that anything that I didn't deal with that day wasn't important. By doing this, I clear out any anxiety of forgetting to deal with an email. And on the flip side, this frees up a ton of headspace. And that's brain power that I can apply to my work. If you follow through this process once and pay attention to how much focus and concentration you have for the remainder of the day, it'll feel, as I mentioned earlier, just like those moments when you're on a train or a plane or you're on vacation and there's nothing at that moment that can distract you from the task at hand. Because of this, when I wanna be my most creative, I stack first. And I do the same thing for my me folder, for my forward folder, and for my review folder. And finally, I get to my last folder, the when folder. I make sure to do a quick pass just to make sure that I'm not missing anything. Now I'm done with my stack, but by this time, I'll likely have more emails in my inbox. And here's the part that I explained earlier. From this point forward, for the rest of my workday, I'm gonna process emails right out of my inbox. Why? Because these emails often involve active conversations. You'll reply to a few emails, someone else will respond, you'll get new conversations, and other emails will come in. If I put them into folders first, it becomes really inconvenient. It's much easier to deal with active conversations and activities out of my inbox. So you'll process these emails by replying, delegating, scheduling, reviewing, or forwarding. And as you process each, you'll archive or trash it. And if there are any emails that I know I'm not dealing with until tomorrow, I just dump them into my action folder so that I'm ready to stack the next day. The next day, I'll get in and take any new emails that I have and empty them from my inbox into my action folders and then repeat the process. Now that I've gone through this, you should have a clear understanding of the process. You'll start by emptying your inbox, then you'll process the first folder by opening it, flagging the emails you're gonna act on, acting on them, and then archiving or trashing them. You'll repeat this for the second folder and do the same for the remaining folders. Then you'll work out of your inbox for the rest of the day by taking action and archiving or trashing emails. The next day, you'll start the process all over again. When you're doing this, pay attention to what it feels like to have an empty inbox and what it feels like to have closure on your email. It's critical to emotionally acknowledge these points in time because they have two of the biggest rewards that come from stacking, and they're often underappreciated. Now that you have the basics of how to process your email, check out the next lesson to learn how to better manage the time you spend emailing.